So what do you do if you find it hard to say no? Maybe friends are saying, like, let's spend the whole weekend for the, you know, non-stop partying or something. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you go, oh, it's my friend. And how can I say no? I've got to say yes. Um, I guess sometimes I get that one as well. Um, how can you say no to someone? Um, well, if it's, of course, if it's the appropriate thing to say no, um, I usually think every situation is karmic. Uh, so there's no such thing. There's no such thing as something happening in the universe by accident. So what does that mean? Um, you know, like for some, some situations, I can say no very easily. It's like um, uh, to a stranger on the street who says like, uh, give me all your money. I could probably easily say no because they're meaningless. I have no, it feels I have no baggage. I'm in a position of neutrality and power. Uh, but if someone I've got, a, I feel I've got a lot of sort of, maybe baggage is not the right word, but there's a lot of stuff going on, good or bad, or codependency, like I've done a lot of stuff for them, they've done a lot of stuff for me, and now they're asking me for a favor, like, you know, and you, and you can sort of feel it, well, I, you know, they've done so much, or they're expecting that um, they did so much and sacrificed for you, now they want to call in the favor, now they need a favor. You know, like, uh, you know, will you go out uh, to and spend the whole weekend to playing card games, whatever. So, so how do you say no? Well, for me, then that's obviously, apart from a general lesson of just not being able to say no, which would be then uh, um, just praying for miracles and transcendence or, but for me, it would be karmic, you know, kar karmic. Have I taken advantage of others in a past lifetime? just knowing they can't say no and go like, uh, can I, can I, you know, can you lend me a hundred pounds? I know they can't say no. Um, and, uh, and so in this lifetime, I may be on the, the receiving end. So I could, uh, Hawkins gave an, the anti-karma prayer. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's abused others who can't say no in this lifetime and past lifetimes. So maybe now I'm born in this lifetime with lots of tricky situations where I'm finding it to say no. So I can intuit what's the life lesson. Why is the universe sending me these, um, these spiritual lessons where I'm finding it, I'm getting people where I'm finding it very difficult to say no on a regular basis. So I could I'd do the anti-karma prayer. I could pray. Um, I'll often do, you know, I'll often think, well, I can only find it difficult to say no to someone I feel I've got baggage with or history with or I owe them something. So that is baggage. So I could say, you know, like, let's say um, I've got baggage with X. So I surrender to God my, my karmas and karmic setups with X and I, I pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles. I surrender to God my karmas and karmic setups with X and I pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles over and over again because there's, that's not happening by accident. I'm finding it difficult to know. And they're asking me to do something that, uh, is it a karmic debt? I do owe them and the right thing to do is, or is it um, that I just, uh, life is giving me that situation because I've done that over and over again to others and taken advantage of people who can't say no. So uh, just praying for guidance uh, or go, go to a group or speak to your spiritual mentor and they'll often be able to intuit, oh, that's probably the spiritual lesson you've got there with not being able to say no so sometimes you know it's the context sometimes it is right to say no or, or sometimes it's to say no in a particular way or, or to be politely say no and sometimes it's like actually you need to say yes because it'll actually be worse if you say no because um you you uh, i would call it a karmic debt that that has to be paid off what's the karmic debt that has to be paid off i mean if i took 100 pounds from someone they say like I want it back now. I mean, I should give it back to them. You know, I can't say like, no, <laughs> I could say no, but there will be uh, consequences to that. Um, but prayer, doing a lot of prayer around the situation, getting guidance, or if you can do a step 10 from the 12 steps, that stuff helps loosen it up and, and bring in the light and divine guidance around uh, the challenges of saying no. Okay, I'm going to stop. Uh